Hello guys, it's Unders and today we're in with a Logic Pro tip video. What we're essentially going to look at is saving channel strips for specific uses and how that's pretty damn helpful and that you can use your third party plugins saved in those channel strips. So in the example I've got here, I've got this tune. He lost a few friends and a couple acquaintances. Remember those days we were sat in a base room. Now it's all legal, it's all legit. Still in a bit. By the way, if you like the Trigger Rider tunes, they are on their way out now. They are coming out on the Warrior Sounds YouTube as well as the website. And you can grab those. It helps support me in this channel. Thank you very much. Essentially, what we're looking at here is Trigger's recording his vocals in his own studio and then sending the parts over to me and like he's recording in that same space over and over again and there's some key things that were coming up during the project and especially with the fab filter ds here and neutron here i was having to do like these lifts and cuts and uh taking away on each one now i could save each individual bit as a preset but instead what i've done is save the channel strips and like the vocal channel strips as well so you see they've got DS's on, there's got multiband going on, there's a fab filter with crazy adjustments because we've got some resonances going on in his room. And we're able just to save those whole channel strips. So when I get the vocals over from him, I can group them all together, I can send them into the bus, and I can load this straight up, and I can load the others straight up, knowing that it's going to take care of any issues with that vocal. So for example, if we add a new audio channel here, so we'll just go to the little plus, we're going to click audio, we have no input or any of such jazz. And that's going to give us a nice empty channel here. And what we'll do is we'll just copy this bit down. Now, as you see, that's a single piece of audio, but uh, it's been cut and pasted to make into one solid bit. And I've cut the silences out. As you can see, there's some pretty horrendous editing going on on the first bit here to adjust the timing as well afterwards. I tend to do that instead of having lots of little blocks of audio, I'll bounce it out into one chunk once I've got a bit that I like. Um, I will sometimes then bounce out the processing as well, but I might want to adjust things and tame the mix down the line. So this is just how I work, whatever works best for you. So we copied that onto a blank audio track. So now if we play it. Lost a few friends and a couple acquaintances. Remember those days we were sat in the beta swips. Now it's all. It's a pretty sound difference, right? Lost a few friends and a couple acquaintances. Remember those days we were sat in the beta strips. Now it's all pretty mad difference, isn't it? So what's important is if we wanted to now send this to our bus, for example, we could grab this channel. Cool. And we'd get this sent off to our vocal bus that we're going to make. In this case, we've already got it, but we're going to make a new one. So we should go bus 10 here and it's going to give us a new aux in here and not name it. We'll just call you VX example so I don't ruin my track so now if we hit settings at the top here we can go to user channel strip settings and you'll see in here I've only got four that is because I tend to delete them when I no longer need them so if I'm not working with a vocalist anymore and I've made a couple of channel strips for them I'll just get rid of them I'll have to recreate them in the future it just stops me having a huge list in here of things I just don't need so this one is labeled trigger bus two. And if we click on that, it's going to load up the same channel strip we've got here. So if we now solo our uh, random little vocal here, lost a few friends and a couple of acquaintances. Remember those days we were sat in the beta strips. Now it's cool. We're getting a lot closer because it's brought all of the settings over from that whole channel strip. Instead of me having to recreate it, reload each plugin, I've now got it as needed. And if there was anything wrong, I can make adjustments in the plugin. Perfect. But he's been using that room he's done these in the same session so the same channel strip should work you can do the same thing for the individuals as well it doesn't just have to be on the bus so if we choose the one here that says trigger verse it's got three plugins on it and I do believe we've already made it for this but we're going to do it again if you click on here where it would say settings but here it's got a trigger channel our trigger chorus is in fact labeled as we can then do save channel strip settings as now this already exists it's in uh, individual track ones and i've got it saved as trigger chorus so we'll get rid of you so we can click settings and we can load it in the same way except it hasn't got a user channel strip thing they're just uh, located in here we've got trigger chorus that's going to introduce those so now 
we should have the same sounding vocal for each part. Lost a few friends and a couple acquaintances. Remember those days we were sat in the beta swips. Now it's all legal, it's all legit. Still in the bits, vocal still sounding crisp. Well, a lot of MCs tracks ain't sounding mixed. It's all good, it's all gravy though. And they ain't getting... And the thing to note, we need to obviously adjust the volume if we're going to make it the same. There we go. Lost a few friends and a couple acquaintances. Remember those days we were sat in the beta swips. Now it's all legal, it's all legit. Still in the bits, vocal still sound... And that's just a really useful tip if you're... Uh, working with like the same player or the same vocalist on a number of projects. Um, you know, for example, if you've recorded someone playing drums, even for example, across a couple of tracks, you can mix one and then copy all those channel strips, knowing that they recorded the, in the same room with the same kit. And you're going to get a really similar sound and it's going to save you a whole ton of work by just making these channel strips and loading them into your projects. Guys, I hope the video was helpful for you. If it was, I will see you on the next one. Don't forget to check out warriorsound.co.uk for any of my Logic projects or free sample packs. See you soon.